All right. We got the WWJD uh, for water jet knives. Did some file work on it. Did a nice tapered tang. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, uh, hollow grind on a 10 inch wheel. Uh, looks kind of razory. So now I'm going to put some clay on it. It's a W2. Um, we clay it to clay the spine to create a hamon, a differential heat treat. Um, the clay makes it so the spine cools slower, the spine will be soft, and the edge will harden. The clay is just uh, furnace cement, Rutland's, uh, just the higher temp, the better. I like the 2700 degree stuff, that's getting hard to find. Um, just, you can mix it with water uh, to thin it out. I've got way more than I need here, but I've got a few other blades I gotta do, so. Uh, I've got this little dentist tool, which I like to use. Grab a little of it, get the spine started. And we'll just apply it out across the spine. The spine will be soft, so we're able to uh, clean up that file work even after heat treat, because we're doing a differential heat treat. Uh, gonna bring some fingers down. You don't need crazy thickness. Uh, you can decide what pattern you want. The uh, heat treat does not follow the pattern exactly unless you're some of those magic guys out there uh, that can do skulls and flames and kind of irritating. If you want to know who they are, you can message me. It's not me. Anyway, so that's one side. We flip it over and do the other side. Normally I have it on the other side of this bar so the spine's facing me, but for you guys to see, this is an easier way to do it. Just apply clay down the spine, just like the other side. fingers. I've got a rough 36 grit finish. Uh, people say that that creates stress risers and your blades can crack. I don't have a lot of cracked blades, so I haven't seen too many problems with it. But I understand that that in theory is probably true because those big long cracks uh, do create stress ri risers like glass and heat treating is a fairly violent process. Okay, so now we're gonna just coat the spine to make sure that file work doesn't harden too much so that I can work clean it up. And then I let it dry. Some people just throw it in the heat treat oven or furnace forge with it wet, it tends to balloon up when that happens. So I prefer to let it dry first. I'm just kind of get some of this excess clay out of here. I like a little bit of activity up in the flats. And that's it. <laughs>